going on, everybody? The Iceman here on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel here on this Tuesday. Uh, still snowing, but pretty much a bust of a blizzard as far as the forecasters go. I mean, they're talking, you know, anywhere up to 30 inches of snow. I think I, I was out earlier. It looked like about 10 here. It's still snowing. I don't I don't really see us getting a heck of a lot more than that. Uh, other places in, in, in Connecticut did get much larger accumulations, but Hartford, you know, is what it is, so. Anyway, so, you know, they had to cancel the Raw at the XL Center in Hartford last night, but they did have a show in Stamford. Uh, they replayed the championship match from the Rumble and the Royal Rumble itself, but they also had three interviews, one with Seth Rollins, one with Brock Lesnar, and one with Roman Reigns. Um, I chose not to watch the show last night. Uh, yesterday, I watched uh, TNA 2005 Turning Point, their last pay-per-view of 2005. It was a sick pay-per-view, Sabu and Abyss in a ring surrounded by barbed wire instead of ring ropes. There were tables wrapped in barbed wire. There were chairs wrapped in barbed wire. It was a sick match. It was a brutal, bloody match, which opened up the pay-per-view. Um, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Sabu ended up defeating Abyss in this match, and I never saw so much blood, you know, really. And uh, it, it, it was truly a great match. If you ever get the opportunity, check it out. Turning Point 2005 TNA. Uh, there was a lot of other great matches on the card. Team 3D went up against uh, America's Most Wanted, James Storm and uh, Wildcat Chris Harris, which was a great, great match. Uh, I think the match that really uh, actually stole the pay-per-view was X Division Champion AJ Styles going up against the undefeated Samoa Joe. This match went on for a very long time, a good half hour, and um, both men were bleeding from the mouth. Uh, it, it just goes to show you, you know, how good AJ and Samoa Joe really were when they were together in the ring. Unfortunately for AJ, Samoa Joe ended up taking away the X Division title, and he went like on a rampage after he defeated AJ. And who other uh, than Christopher Daniels comes out to try to help out AJ, whom you know Samoa Joe destroyed Daniels like a month prior to that. So that was an excellent, excellent match. And the main event was Rhino going up against uh, the NWA. Champion Jeff Jarrett, not a bad match here, all in all, but Jarrett had a lot of help from his allies, Team Canada, and eventually ended up uh, hitting Rhino over the, the head with the guitar, uh, his trademark, and ended up getting the win. But all in all, this pay-per-view from beginning to end was excellent, and it goes to show you what TNA was back then compared to what they are now, but it also goes to show you uh, what kind of pay-per-views promotions can put on if they put their mind to it. And I think 2005 pay-per-views by TNA um, outdoes any pay-per-view that we see from any promotion today. Um, you know, and I'm including New Japan Pro Wrestling, and they do put on a great job, and so does in Ring of Honor, uh, you know, as well as we talk about the WWE. But this this was one great pay-per-view, so I watched that yesterday. Uh, that was pretty cool. And then last night, um, Andre Corbeil, thank you, Andre, uh, let me know about FWE Wrestling. We're going to air uh, Refuel 2 live on YouTube last night. So I watched most of that. I, did, I really didn't watch it all because I, I did watch a lot of wrestling yesterday, and I was sort of getting a little burnt out, plus the snowstorm. And, you know, I was worried about power going out. It was very, very windy. But I did see Sanjay Dutt and Chris Saban match. That was excellent. Um, I saw Colt Cabana get beat early on in the show. Tommy Dreamer was there. The Young Bucks were there. Um, yeah, what I saw in the show was really cool. Joey Styles opened up the show in a match. Um, you know, it was in a small menu, uh, but... The crowd was really into it, you know. It wasn't a huge crowd because it was a very, very small arena. But it was very, very fun to watch. And again, I thank Andre Corbeil. And yes, Andre, get well soon. Um, I hear you're recovering uh, very well. So that's that's good news as well. So I watched that last night. 
And, uh, you know, and I figured I'd get up this morning and we'd probably have like, you know, two and a half feet of snow and maybe four foot drifts, you know, and I'm looking out the window and I'm going, huh, you gotta be kidding me. Um, so up here in Hartford, it really wasn't all that bad. Uh, people did take heed to the, the driving ban after nine o'clock last night. And that was one of the main reasons why WWE had to cancel their show at the XL center because our governor didn't want anybody on the road, you know, due to safety. But I will say this, um, the tickets for raw from last night are going to be good for Thursday at the XL center where the WWE is going to air a live SmackDown. So this is going to be great. Um, all the major stars from raw, are going to be on SmackDown for the most part. Um, and the main event's going to be Daniel Bryan and Kane in a casket match. Uh, we are already talking about Rusev and Cena for Fastlane. We're also even hearing about Sting and Triple H at Fastlane. And, you know, I find that hard to believe they would hold that match at Fastlane. I think they would wait for WrestleMania. Uh, but maybe possibly the WWE is looking some, for something that <clears throat> will give a good response for the viewers. Now, everybody, or the majority of people, trashed the Royal Rumble. I thought it was pretty good. Um, I knew what to expect pretty much going into the Rumble. And knowing the WWE, they don't really change a lot of things. Um, I don't have a problem with Roman Reigns uh, going up against Brock Lesnar. Um and I was reading this morning that Vince is determined to make it a one-on-one -on -one with Brock and Roman. He said he does not want to do a repeat of what he did last year by having Daniel Bryan get involved uh, because the fans wanted him so badly in that main event. So, you know, whether or not Vince sticks to his guns or not, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, and then there's people hashtagging, you know, cancel the WWE Network, get rid of it, and there are a lot of people that did, um, but I think that is just childish in my eyes for the simple fact, um, you know, you saw the Rumble on the network for $9.99. Um, it could have been worse. If we didn't have the network, you'd be paying $50 to watch the Royal Rumble. So really, in all essence, do you really have a right to complain? Um I don't think so. Um, like I said, uh, we all know what the WWE is all about. And we all know a lot of things that are set in stone, you know, especially when it comes around the, the end of the year into the Rumble for WrestleMania. WWE very rarely changes um, the outcomes. Now, a lot of people may not be happy um, that Daniel Bryan did not win the Rumble. But again, he shined last year. We have Roman Reigns. We have Seth Rollins. We have Bray Wyatt. We have Rusev. We have Dean Ambrose. These are upcoming guys. And, you know, the WWE can't put them all sh to shine all at once in a main event. So they pick and choose who they're going to do. But everybody is going to get their time. Uh, believe me, they will. And um, to be quite honest with you, I didn't want to see a Daniel Bryan, Brock Lesnar, WrestleMania main event for the fact it's like the little guy going against the big guy. And we all know that how that turns out. And, um, you know, I'd rather see a big guy against the big guy. Um, so, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm happy with it. As far as the interviews go last night, uh, Seth Rollins uh, has nothing to feel bad about. Uh, he carried his weight in that uh, WWE title match with Lesnar and Cena, as well did John Cena, as well did Brock Lesnar. None of the three looked weak in this match. It was just the timing at the end, and that's how it went. And, um, you know, for all intents and purposes, that WWE title match was one of the better title matches we've seen in a very, very long time. There was a lot of action uh, after the beginning got out of the way with all the suplexes by Lesnar because he didn't do anything really physical other than that until the F5s and, and whatnot towards the end. But again, you know, it is what it is. Um, I'm pleased. 
And uh, like I said, I watched a lot of wrestling yesterday. So, um, you know, I got through it, you know, figuring it was going to be one of those days where you weren't going to be able to do too much. And I thought today was going to even be worse. But it, the sky is brightening up out here. It's still snowing. Um, like I said, I expected like close to two feet of snow. And I, I went out and there's probably about 10 inches. I took a picture and put it on my, my Facebook page just to show where the snow blower went through. And you could see the depth of the snow. And it's about 10 inches, maybe 11. But anyway, so check out the Iceman's uh, Wrestling Extreme Facebook page on Facebook. Check out Wrestling News Talk. And also, uh, before I end this video, Sean's View Entertainment now has a Tuesday Toss video he does where he is going to plug a YouTuber. You can let him know if you want to get plugged or not. Uh, his first Tuesday toss today was Gemini888. Um, it was a quick plug. Um, you know, it's got to help as far as people getting subscribers and views. So, I mean, Sean's got 54,000 views, whether you like him or not. Um, you know, it's your opinion. I enjoy watching his videos because I get informed about a lot of things that I haven't seen yet or I didn't know about. And most of the stuff he does say you know, actually comes to be true. So anyway, Tuesday Toss by Sean's View Entertainment. Uh, this week's plug was Gemini 888. Congratulations to Gemini as well. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe today. If you have to shovel, be careful. Uh, the snow isn't heavy, um, you know, like it could have been. But um, nonetheless, it's still a lot of work when you got to shovel, and especially if you're up there in age. So enjoy your day, everybody. Peace out, and we'll see you all next time. And look forward to watching Thursday's live SmackDown at the XL Center here in Hartford, Connecticut.